Okay, Donald, so here you are, back and ready to go ahead and take on KJ Noons. He's the guy that likes to stand and trade. What do you think uh, fans can expect to see from you in this fight? I think it's going to be a, a fun stand-up fight, man. I really do. I mean, that's what fans pay for us to do. We're opening the show, and I think there's no reason why we don't go out there and let it go. Right, that's what you're known for, but I heard that you had an incident before the last fight that you had with Pettis where you fell like 40 feet yeah. on a free fall in a rock climbing incident, and that, that kind of maybe changed the perspective that you had going in. Is that true? Oh, just my perspective on uh, not anything to do with fighting. Just uh, I was just being overconfident in my climbing, you know, so I just changed my thinking outwork for a short period, but yeah. I saw that you're already back racing cars and going out and doing a Harley ride with Frank Amir yesterday, so we're, st we're still getting the wild man that we're all expecting and that everybody loves, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Well, that's how I live my life. That's how, yeah, that's how I am the man I am, so... Do you think that the best thing with KJ is to stand and trade with them? Is that what you're probably going to do? Or how much do you think implementing your ground game might have an effect well, I, in this fight? You know, I think standing with KJ probably isn't the best thing, but it's the thing that all the fans and everyone want to see. You know, like I said, we're opening the show, so we're going to go out there and give it hell. What about the Anthony Pettis fight? What do you take away from that that has, maybe has influenced anything for you going into this fight? I'm just trying to be more mentally prepared, you know. Physically and everything like that, you know, I think I was ready. Every time you take a loss, you sit back and wonder what you did or what you didn't do. And, you know, it's what we do. You win and you lose in this game. And I took a hard liver kick and that was that, you know. So I'm not going to dwell on that fact. But uh, I'm just really trying to be more prepared mentally. We haven't seen one of those classic WEC rear naked choke finishes from the Cowboy in a while. Do you think that might be coming? Yeah, it would have to be. I'd have to take him down for that to happen, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for your time, Cowboy, and we'll look forward to seeing you fight on Saturday. Thank Heidi you. Fang for MMA Fight Corner with KJ Noons. First fight in the UFC since Strike Force. How does it feel to be brought into the fold? Yeah, I'm super excited. This is a great opportunity for me. I'm ready to get out there and mix it up. you got a huge test in front of you with Donald Cerrone, uh, former WEC, a couple times he had a shot at the title there. What do you think he brings to the table against you in this fight? I think he's uh, probably one of the best well-rounded fighters I've fought. So if you look at his record, his ground game, takedowns, long, good stand-up, good hands, knees, leg kicks. So I'm really excited to be fighting a worthy opponent like him. The last fight that you had with Ryan Couture, it was like a war. You guys went at it. A lot of people weren't happy with the decision. What did you take away from that fight that you can bring into this one? Well, you can't let it go to the judges, you know, so that's what I always strive for, but a lot easier said than done. So, um, you know, just a couple more things uh, that we worked in in camp to, you know, solidify that I can finish the fight or, you know, take the fight anywhere and, and win it. Uh, speaking of the wins, you know, the UFC, when they had brought in a lot of the Strike Force fighters, had said that you have to win your last fight in Strike Force to come into the UFC. That didn't happen, but you did get brought in. How pumped were you to actually find out about the, the fact that they were going to bring you in into one of the toughest divisions that they have? I was super excited, you know, because um, I feel like they knew that I didn't lose the fight. So they gave me a chance, and this is a lifetime opportunity for me. I'm really excited. Uh, you've technically been around for quite a while as far as how often you fought. You're an originally more of a boxer in your style. Going against a guy like Cerrone, how important do those skills, come, or I guess, bring to the table? How important is it to have that boxing skill against a guy like Cerrone? Well, you got to be well-rounded. So we worked on a lot of different stuff besides just boxing, takedowns, takedown defense, submissions, kicks, to really mix it up and you know give it a give myself the best shot at winning the fight. And I want to win the fight. Do you think it's important to stay on your toes in this one, or will you actually try to go to the ground with them? Got to see Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks, and best of luck to you, KJ. Thanks. Thanks.